We're going to be taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and today we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star offensive tackle Jaquan McCroy, who signed with the Oregon Ducks. We're going to take a look at his highlights. We're going to take a look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do, you need to click that subscribe button because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class all offseason long, player by player, every day of this offseason. And you need to know what these players look like for when they start making plays for your team. Click that button. Stop missing out. Let's take a look at this 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, you'll get there. But we got to get to know this guy real quick. I'm going to say it. He's huge. Six foot eight, 365 pounds. He's tall. That's probably very old listed weight here for a guy this big. He's probably a little bigger. Because usually the listings on these recruiting sites are a little aged. He's rated as the ninth best offensive tackle in the rankings. 95th best Recruit overall for 24-7 sports in the composite 13th best offensive tackle, 155th overall. So we're going to take a look at the highlights, see what's up with that. But before we do, let's look at the offers here. You got 20 of them. We signed with Oregon. And then the big thing about National Signing Day was he was going to put that Colorado hat on, make you think he was going to sign with them, but he flipped it off and threw on the Oregon hat real quick. Check that out on YouTube. But he signed with Oregon. Power 5 programs were after him. Played in multiple All-Star games. Under Armour All-American game. Alabama, Mississippi All-Star game. And then reading the scouting report. We're just going to touch base with this real quick. Estimated 6'8", 365 pounds. Massive frame. Limited to no growth potential to add weight to his frame. Flashes good athleticism. So good size adjusted athleticism. Guarantees strong for being that big. Displays good foot and body quickness for his size. Shows ability to explode. We got a guy here that's just going to dominate at the high school level. I can already tell you that. You do not do that if you're rated this high and you're six foot eight. More of a leaner at the point of attack, but flashes some power with his hands and ability to naturally move defenders because you are going to do that when you're six foot eight. A member of the 2023 Freaks list for 24-7 sports. Grew up playing basketball, which earned him the nickname Shaq. Of course it would. And he signed with Oregon. He committed to Oregon in July. Colorado was hot on his trails. Dion couldn't land him. Four-star prospect. And a four-star prospect down the rankings here. His rankings is all over the place from ranking as the 38th best offensive tackle with on three to being fourth best for ESPN, ninth best for 24-7 sports, 19th for rivals on average with industrial rankings, 15th. Four-star prospect down the line, though. We're going to take a look at this highlights, see what's going on with him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out because we're going to be watching film together all offseason long. But let's take a look at him on the tape here. You already see the size. Moving well for his size. And it's hard to see what's moving well for a six foot eight guy. We see six six, six seven all the time. He he's got some power. He's moving bodies really well. He gets his hands on you. What, what are you gonna do? Especially at this level. They're gonna chuck it to him. Boom. We're moving. You ain't tackling him. You ain't tackling him. You're not tackling him. Look how big he is compared to everybody else. They're pulling. He's pulling. Just going to lay on you. The thing about offensive tackle prospects, offensive line prospects of this size and nature, it should be so dominant you can't get an evaluation on them. They should be getting to the point of attack. They should be murdering the opposition, and that's what we're getting here. And now you got to look at the intangibles. He gets out of stance very quickly. We got some bursts here. You've seen him use his hands there. Again, throwing the guy to the ground. You got some nastiness there. Making sure he stays on the ground. Finishing that guy. Where are we at here? Second level. That guy's going to the ground easy. Making it look easy. That should look easy. Because he, he's at a huge advantage compared to everybody else. And it should look like he has an advantage compared to everybody else. Getting to the second level. He can move a good bit for his size. 
getting downfield, a big mauler. And I bet you he's got a lot of room for growth and a lot of room to get better. And a lot of room to put on some good size. Once we get that Oregon weight room. Turns him. Turns him initially and finishes him. That's something you want to point out there. Pushing him back. Pushing everybody back. Getting to the second level. Turned out to create the wall. I would like to see a little bit more pop in the step. But for his size, he moves well. We got a lot of upside here. He's killing everybody. He's killing everybody. He's looking for a body when he gets downfield. Turns him. Finishes him. Flattens him. It's Pancake City. It should look dominant. And that's what it, we're doing here. We're dominant on every play. He's pushing somebody on their back every single play. That's what the highlights should be looking like. Got a good step there. Going to block it off. Seal it. Looking good there. He's good getting out of the stance. Like he's not too hot. Ooh. Ooh. That had to hurt. That had to hurt. We're going to the next one. We're getting to that edge. Another one. Another one. Let's see what he does here. Now we're popping off the line. Now we're popping. But look at that size. 90's got no chance. You can't get low on him. He's just going to lay on you. He just wants to finish it. That's a, that's a job. Pass protection. Kick, good kick back. Solid. See him work here. Good kick back. Good arms, good reach. Man, that guy just fell over once he got touched. Good pop back. I think we got a lot of upside here. I think we do. Creating that wall. Riding him out. I wanted to see that. I want to see what it looked like if a guy got a step on him. Ooh, look at him come back. Stay with the play. Takes him down. Lays on him. Still on him. I like that he organized his tape. I didn't notice that when I clipped it, but honestly, I, this is a live reaction. I only watch the beginning to make sure things are clipping right. He's going to take you out of the play. Throw you into the stands. That's his job. Getting downfield. He loves to run block. He loves to run block. I bet he's injured a lot of players throughout his high school career. Just instantly going to the ground. I don't know what they meant by the power thing. I, I kind of get it. Things look different when you're six foot eight, three sixty five, and you look like him. But you touch him, and his hands get on you. You're going to the ground sooner than later, and it's usually very soon. Very strong offensive tackle, and you watch the movement skills. And remember, he's six foot eight. He's going to move and look differently. For his size, he moves well. I think there's some upside here. You get him in the Oregon weight room. I think we can make something out of him. And I think if he puts everything into it, I think you got a big time player here. He's six foot eight, big big boy, big boy. He gets his hands on you. It's over. He can get to the second level run blocking and pass blocking. He's quick back there, and he'll ride you out if you get a foot ahead of him. He showed you one play. We got a one play sample of that. But pass blocking scenarios looks good. Disintegrates guys. Gets downfield. Disintegrates guys. Good getting out of his stance. Can really explode off the line too. We saw that on some plays as well. I think we got a lot of upside here. I think Oregon's got a good one here. And I think if they develop him and if he puts in the time, I think we got ourselves a guy that might be playing on Sundays if he really takes a step forward because he has everything going for him. Let me know what you think about him in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.